What are the bad things about golden doodles? First up, let's be clear. I love golden doodles. That's why I have a doodle dog YouTube channel. Before you adopt a golden doodle and welcome them into your home, you should know that there are some downsides to this lovable mixed breed. In general, golden doodles are a wonderful family dog. They have so much energy and just love to be around people and other dogs. However, like any dog breed, there are some issues and behavioral traits that you need to know about before you adopt. You will need to remember that every single dog is different, but these are the most common problems that golden doodles have. The most common issue is separation anxiety. These dogs are Velcro dogs. They'll follow you around everywhere. They want to be with you. Golden doodles are pack animals that want to be around humans and other animals. This is often a desirable trait. They're great at meeting new people. They're good at hanging out with kids and they always want to be near you, ready for a snuggle or a cuddle. However, an energetic and intelligent breed can get bored or stressed really easily when left alone. Given that we as dog owners often have to go to work or to school, this can be a significant problem. And the most common issue that people have with golden doodles is a misbehaving dog due to separation anxiety. For some golden doodles, separation anxiety leads to destructive behavior. You can find your dog chewing up carpet and furniture, barking at everything and just causing a ruckus. So if you can't spend a whole heap of time with your golden doodle, then this is not the breed for you. Strategies to reduce this issue though, include uh, playing games with your dog, leaving puzzles for them, uh, freezing a Kong or a, a toy that's stuffed with food, just getting them really distracted. Not to mention an energetic dog like a golden doodle, you take them for a walk or a play in the morning, Let's just say that a tired dog is a good dog that finds less opportunity to cause mischief. The second problem with golden doodles is excessive barking. Poodles and golden retrievers aren't really known as being particularly vocal dogs, but both of them do bark. Whether it is separation anxiety or being separated or weaned from their mother too early or a bunch of other different causes, Barking is a problem that can lead to a lot of golden doodle owners tearing out their hair in frustration. Some golden doodles get to the point where they'll bark at everything. They'll bark at a, a car driving by, let alone the mailman knocking on the door, and it can cause a real headache for neighbors. Early socialization with other dogs, with the postman, with everyone that you possibly can is an important way to reduce barking behavior in a golden doodle. And another strategy is of course, to spend as much time as them with possible and make sure to reprimand them verbally whenever they do bark out of, well, all dogs should be allowed to bark, but when they bark in a way that's not appropriate. If you're there all the time, you can even teach your dog to bark or be quiet on command. That's a really good idea. Or there's barking collars that might emit a sound or another way of distracting the dog and stopping them from barking. At the end of the day, golden doodles are going to bark and a dog's bark is its way of communicating with us. Dogs are gonna bark, your golden doodle is gonna bark. If this is a deal breaker, find a different breed. The next problem with golden doodles is that they are very, very curious. This can mean they get easily distracted. This is a nice way of saying they are very smart dogs, but geez, can they get up to mischief. When you take a golden doodle to the park or to meet a new person, its first instinct is gonna be investigate, explore, and find out everything that they can. This can mean that your dog may routinely zoom off and run after other dogs, children, animals, birds, new sounds, new smells. This can cause quite a problem, particularly because some golden doodles are quite large. So you can have a very large dog that bolts off at a moment's notice. The final problem with golden doodles is that you have all been lied to. There is no such thing as a hypoallergenic dog. Golden doodles often do shed a lot less depending on their coat type. However, all dogs shed a little bit. And dog allergies are most routinely caused not just by the hair, but actually by skin cells. That means that dog saliva and dog dandruff, for lack of a better word, also contribute to allergies. So if you suffer from dog allergies, sure, a golden doodle is less likely to give you issues, but there is no guarantee. Do not pay thousands of dollars to a breeder, particularly if they're going to guarantee hypoallergenic dog, because it just doesn't exist. Spend time with the dog or the parents of the dog beforehand and just see if you have a reaction. Golden doodles that have more poodle genetics will cause less issues for people who suffer from asthma or other allergies. Golden doodles are a fantastic family pet. They don't exist without a list of possible flaws that potential dog owners should know, research and understand before you adopt or rescue.